Welcome to Agua Canyon, a stunning wilderness section littered with beautiful waterfalls, challenging white water, and high cliffs towering the Agua River that splits the gorge. It is considered inaccessible by standard means. No maintained roads lead to the upper and most advanced section of the canyon. They say there is only one way in and one way out, the Agua Canyon tourist train. But what would happen if the train stopped running, the section of railway sold, through fare contracts canceled, passenger trains not in service, the tracks left unmaintained and in disrepair, the canyon abandoned by all but the most adventurous. With whitewater paddling gear on my back, I would hike 30 kilometers upriver for the first two days, piece together a remote off-trail route that leads to the start of the canyon in the town of Eton. I would then take another two days to paddle the whitewater Agawa River through the canyon back to the Toab Trailhead. Twelve forty five. Let's go. That means that's mile marker 105. And I believe the gorge, just below the gorge, is 114. So we have nine miles to the gorge. It's tough to see um, through the trees, but you get a really good feeling for how high we are right now. Like the river is way, way down there. There's the top of the trees. It just goes way down there. I don't know what the elevation is, but um, you know, certainly a few hundred meters. So it looks like they actually sign the railroad. So if you're walking the railroad, you know that this probably takes you to Agua Falls, I bet. I wonder, I wonder what I should do. Uh, let me see how close it is on the map. Maybe I would go down there, take a look and then come back. Although I don't know. Okay, so I've actually decided that this is like a quarter of a kilometer and I'm gonna go check out what's in this trail. I got some time. I'm in no rush. Oh, oh. Okay, so problem is that that actually goes down, I believe, to the base of the falls. And I don't think there's a trail to the top from what I can see. So actually, I guess what happens is when you get to the base, this takes you up to the rail to continue, I'm guessing. Because these tracks are abandoned right now. I don't know if you guys know that. ACR confirmed it, sort of the park. Okay, well, we're going back to the rail then. Huh. Wonder what this is. Some kind of solar panel thing. I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know what that is. 
maybe it's something so that like if a train comes and hits it it like shuts it off because the track is in rough shape up there like you wouldn't be able to put a, 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 tra a train on these tracks anyway i guess they've been uh they've been left to the new management company and they've been um, not ridden on for so long that i don't think i think they have to do some repairs anyway yeah okay so that's the problem i don't trust this shit at all man Woo! <laughs> I don't know if I remember telling you guys that the tracks need some repairs. That's probably what that is up there. So even the ACR workers will come with their trucks. Right? I don't know if you've ever seen those, where they have like a rail system on like a pickup truck. I bet that's what that thing is for up there to say like, hey man, there's been a major fallout here. Let's see this. Danger. Looks like this is like almost an, ab oh, almost an abandoned mine shaft or something. I don't want to get too close. But yeah. Oh my God. Jeez. Yeah, if you go in there, you're not coming out. So I actually believe this is the Little Agua River and there is a campsite at the mouth of the Little Agua as it reaches the Agua River. And I was going to go there and camp today, but it's four o'clock. So it's a little bit early for me. We got a late start. We've done about 15 kilometers. I got a little bit more gas in the tank. I'm thinking that we go to the next campsite. It's about four or five kilometers up. And uh, I doubt anybody's in the canyon today because the only way to get here is basically the way that I'm coming here. So we're gonna hike for about another, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours. Get to camp around six. That's the plan anyway. Actually, it looks like I'm not the only person who does this. Here's a full on campsite right beside the railway tracks and the pan. So, You know, the, the rail, railway really is probably how people get in here. There's a hydro line. That's where it comes from. So it looks like this section, it's actually an old snowmobile trail. Just check this out. Yeah. That's probably been there a while. It's an old 440. I used to have one like that, like 25 years ago. So, thinking that there might be a campsite just down here somewhere.
Okay, so it's supposed to be a campsite around here somewhere. It's either that way or this way. Might check this way first. Pretty much confirmed that there's no campsite in there. So I'm just gonna hike up a bit. Maybe it's been moved over the years. Wonder if this is the climber's cabin. Hello camp! Oh my, it has seen better days, let me tell you. It's like a solar panels, a little bed. Oh, there's some stuff up there I can see. From what I can gather, this tree probably fell down during the winter time. Because this place isn't looking the best. must be the climbers camp yeah Jesus looks like some serious repairs need to be made here okay well there isn't a spot for me to pitch my tent so I'm gonna keep moving but uh, I don't know man this is an Rough shape, big time. It's a lot of shit in here. I guess the snow caved it in. 112, then another bridge. Oh man, it's beautiful. That big rock. So, let's see what we got here. So, to be honest, that looks like a pretty good spot right there. Looks like there might be something there too. We're making an executive decision. Can you see those rapids up there? There's like a wicked little set with a bunch of rocks and I'm going to guess that there's a campsite beside that because that looks very picturesque. Yeah, it looks a little shallow. There's probably a line here and there. Where's your friend? It's far up there but there's something on the tracks. It's walking, I don't know what it is. Might be a fox. All right, looks like we found an actual trail now. Which is awesome. I go to Canyon Park, Algoma Central Railway. Okay, well I think we might be camping basically right here. This must be the old railway station. I wonder if anybody's here. This is like a little town. Somebody's here, because the washrooms are open. Oh, I think I hear somebody. 
Hello, camp. No one. There it is. Hello, Canyon Lodge. So guys, the abandoned town is over there. I found this little nook here in the corner, right by the water. And I think this is where we're gonna make camp. It appears that it's the witching hour for the black flies. It must be like just the perfect temperature. So they're, they're out, that's for sure. This is my uh, Durston X-Mid Pro. If you watch any of my other videos, oh, you know that I've been having some challenges setting it up. So I learned a new technique. I watched some videos, but uh, I want to show you. These are the uh, Tupic titanium tube stakes that I sell. These have the highest strength to weight ratio of any 10 stake on the market. So they're not cheap. Um, I sell them in singles and a, and a set of four. But uh, once you buy these, you basically never have to buy another set for the rest of your life. And I bet there's no company that's going to make a better one. Well, day number one is complete. I think we did about 18 or 19 kilometers. A little bit of a tough day. Probably good to tell everybody about the logistics for this trip. So we are basically hiking um, to Eton, and then we're gonna paddle the Agua River through the canyon out to Lake Superior um, where it meets at Highway 17. We parked at the Toab Trailhead uh, in Lake Superior Provincial Park. We then hiked some of the trail, we hiked some roads, we hiked an ATV trail, we hiked a bunch of the railway and a bunch of trails again and you name it. Basically, we piece together this kind of funky route and we're going to go all the way to Eaton. And then from Eaton, we're going to paddle this out, uh, hopefully get some good white water with the pack raft and then get out at 17 or where the Toab Trail meets the Agua River, somewhere pr pretty close to 17 anyway, or, or Lake Superior, then hike back to the car. Uh, it should take three days, maybe four. I'm not sure right now. We made really good time today. I wasn't sure if we were going to. So we'll have to see how tomorrow goes, how much scouting there is. I thought of doing this like a year ago, to be honest. And through a paddling club that I'm part of locally uh, in the west side of uh, Toronto, um, there's a guy named Jeff McColl, and he's in the same one. I don't know where he lives exactly, but he basically comes to Agua Canyon like multiple times a year. He's like the, the guru for Agua Canyon. So um, just by coincidence, I bumped into him. The name rang a bell. And so we started talking about this trip. and. I guess I should just say thanks to the guy. The guy has put in an incredible amount of work documenting like all the rapids, you know, where to put in, how to get here, all that type of stuff. And I've been talking with him for probably at least a month, probably close to two months. He's just a super nice guy. And I definitely credit all of the beta on the river, how to get here, like all the secrets about it to him. He's, he's been extremely helpful. Um, generally though, I wanted to come and do this trip in the spring when it was high water like how I did the Des Moines, but I couldn't do them both at the same time. And this one, because it was a little bit more like canyony, I was a little bit more nervous to do it. Like when it's super high water, because maybe it's just like flushing so hard that I can't do it. So now it's running at a check this morning about 2.4. Um, yeah, I think it peaked at around seven and I think it starts getting pretty low at around one and a half. So based on the rapids that I see, like it looks like pretty low flow but not, uh, not uh, bony at all. So it's gonna be a technical run from what I can understand. And I'm just gonna read over all the, the rapids right now. Once we get past this, right now we're at mile marker 112. This is generally where people canoe down from and then they portage, obviously, Agua Falls. Uh, above this, apparently it's supposed to get much more advanced. So maybe we can't paddle any of it, I have no idea. But there's really minimal, uh, there really isn't much information out there on this. So the least I'm going to do is document everything. And then if I can't do it all, then someone else can do it. No big deal. I'm past the point of sacrificing my life for a YouTube video. Whew. It's hot. Ooh. So I was just packing up this morning and I noticed that this giant 
wall right here is actually blocking the sun. And I don't know if you can see it, but just along the railroad tracks, sun is all there. So I'm gonna lightly load up here and just head over there because uh, I definitely underestimated how cold the canyon got. Like the temperature differential between the day and the night was significant. During the day, it was probably 20, I don't know, probably 23 degrees Celsius, 22 degrees Celsius. And last night, was, it got down to freezing pretty much. So, um, which is good for the bugs, but not good for my body. Nah, that was fine, but let's go warm up in the sun. Ooh. Looks like it's about four degrees Celsius. He's totally back. He doesn't see me. He's got something in his mouth. Oh, he's got a little bunny. Okay, there's something wrong with that fox. I was just taking my tent down. I didn't have my, my GoPro with me. I left it here at the train tracks. And I turned around and it was just sitting there like four feet from me. And now he's at my campsite, just like sniffing around. You know what? He's either probably like habituated because of this little town or he's a psycho. Oh, look. Ah, ah. Get out of here. Go. Go. Go or get one of these to the rear end. Oh fuck, he thinks that's food. He thinks that we're gonna feed him. So, something wrong with this guy. I threw a rock at him. Well, not at him, but to scare him off. And uh, he thought it was food. I could see him chasing it after it. So I guess a bunch of people have been feeding him around, around here. And that's pretty much like what happens to like bears, to be honest. If you like feed them or if they find food too many times, then they end up like this guy. Like he literally has no fear of me whatsoever. I don't, I don't even know if you can see him right now, but he's like just coming on over. Keep your distance, boy. Keep your distance. 1020 time check.
It's very shallow. Definitely runnable. A couple of funky lines in there. Okay. So, really depends on what's upstream, I guess. Pretty solid tongue right there. We can get through that without any issue nothing below all right so now this is getting a little bit more interesting uh, there's the entrapment hazard right those railway things not unrunnable but uh, you know there's, there's a lot going on there so I think the railway tie with the orange stick means that this is the bottom of the very first rapid, which I think he said is a class five. So it's a definite portage if that's the case. So it looks like a lot of space on the left <coughs> to portage and things. It's, it's just a little low. You can hear something significant in there, but hard to see. Maybe we'll get a better view of it from up here. Okay. That's the class five, guys. And I ain't running that either. So basically, we'll go to the top just to investigate. But look at, like, look at this, man. This looks wild. If you were an awesome kayaker, I'll get you some better shots when we're up there. But I'm not running that. That's the gorge. We can maybe put in right down there. So it looks like here's the entrance to the gorge. Might go on that tree over there and take a look. Guys, the executive decision is as follows. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to Eton because there's a waterfall there that was painted by A.Y. Jackson from the Group of Seven, and I wanna see it. But Hell's Fury, the gorge, is the very first big rapid on this stretch of river. Um, I thought there was a couple more before it, but I'm just getting up to speed now. So I think we're gonna go to Eton, look at the waterfall, and then we're just going to hike to the bottom of the gorge to put in. 
This gorge has, in my mind, from scouting it, three uh, unrunnable sections with my skill level. The first section, obviously, is a uh, no-go, but after that first kind of like, I don't know, 200 meters, there's a whole bunch of fun stuff in there, down that gorge. Then there's a huge drop, um, and the drop is narrow and it's, it's tall. Uh, I definitely can't do it. it. Looks like it's an easy portage to get around. And then it looks like there's like a significant amount of like class two, class three kind of fun stuff um, until it gets to this very, very narrow section at the very end, which is still looks like there's a line, but it's so narrow and the very end of it just picks up a lot of speed. And I'm thinking that if I try and like go in and out of the gorge and, you know, portage and all this stuff, I'm going to spend like four hours in that one section um, and miss kind of like two beautiful days running the Agua River out to Lake Superior. So that's my thoughts anyway. I'm, I think I might go take a look at this waterfall and then I might just, uh, I might just put in after the gorge. That's how trips like this work, man. You never know. Jeff did told me the, the gorge is pretty crazy. There was actually a double drowning here uh, in 1985. So, um, like, I'm, I'm not even considering it, so it doesn't even matter. There's no way I'm doing that. Like, I don't even know who could do that. That's big stuff. Whoa. It's either the put in or the take out. I just walked by like a huge stretch that was totally runnable. So I think, I don't know what I was thinking on the way up here. I, I might have wasted a little bit of white water there. And I can, I think the, the next crux is right there. Let me think, let me look here. Yeah, okay. Maybe a little bit, a little bit too gnarly. Slightly, slightly, but totally doable it's probably hard to tell how steep that is that's gnarly so I'm gonna put in just at the bottom there You know what? This is completely runnable. It's not that big a deal. And we're gonna put everything in and we're gonna suit up and get going. It's 1.30. Guys, it's so hot, I don't know if I can wear my dry suit. I'm gonna run a couple of rapids in just my regular clothes. And if I find I get a little bit cold or some that, I'll put on my dry suit or my wetsuit. Sorry, my dry suit. But man, it is hot out. Hot. My God, I'm hot. I put my dry suit on. I just said, fuck it and put it on. Oh. Oh. Alright, so it looks like we've already got a little rapido. Uh, it looks like a very bony class 2, really. Just gonna eddy out. Uh, Right around here. Okay, so I'm gonna go in the tongue to the right of that rock, and then just to the right of that thing. No big deal.
bad. I don't even know if there's enough water for me to run this. Look how shallow it is. I'm gonna keep my eye open for rocks. Remember this one, it's like stick a bit to the right. That's where the tongue is. You know what? Maybe left is this. No, no, no. Right for sure. That was our campsite from last night. That's the bench I was sitting on actually. Wonder if that fox is still hanging out there. The cliffs of insanity, eh? funny they've actually got this rock right there set up in front of there I don't know if like someone put it there on purpose but it's just sticking there 
and it's like the perfect tripod, rock tripod to take selfies at, uh, this is Ride, Bridal Veil Falls, I think. It's wild. It's huge once you get up close to it. So we're coming up to Rapid 6. It's a Class 3 known as Good Hope Rapid. These are all Jeff McColl's notes. I looked at it already. Uh, it's definitely bony. Uh, nee, 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 nee. Yeah, okay. The railway bridge. Okay, then we have another Class 3 right afterwards. Short, wide, rapid with good drop. Starts off easy with very bold race. Okay, so we'll have to scout it. I go, it turns right and full. This is under the hydro line and the top of Rapid 10 is where Little Agua enters. Okay. Agua is a campsite and great waterfalls to look at and hike. Okay, so we know that we can get to Little Agua without going over any big waterfalls, right? Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is our technical class three. It looks like it's got a good drop to it. I've got to, uh, I gotta scout this. Oh, it's longer than I thought. It's pretty mellow though, like there's almost nothing to it. Might just want to take a look at the very end. Ride the tongue, stick to the left. So here's where it gets a little gnarly. So, we're going to go center. Left of rock, left of rock. As soon as we get there, we're going to make a right. And go down that there, right there. We can even eddy out here if we want to. Or on the other side. You know what? I don't like this. I'm going to run the rapid. I'm going to eddy out right here and just hop over. I don't want to get my pack raft pinned on those rocks there. Yeah. Take the tongue. We're getting ready to eddy out, bud. Okay. I see where we're going. A little bit of meat and then right to the left. I forgot to put my camera on while I did that run. So, here you can see the challenges. I couldn't really see a line. Maybe there's one over here. Like, I don't want to get hung up on these rocks. Oh. Oh, right there. That's the, yeah, I figured that was the line. Yeah. Okay. Well, next time. So this is the um, the bridge. I'm trying to find where the deepest part of this river is going to be. I think in here. This is the bridge we crossed, and just on the left-hand side here is a campsite. And then, uh oh. And then on the other side of this is the uh, ice climbing camp. Oh, good drop. And this looks like a pretty decent drop right here see where this, where do we eddy out for a little scouterino. 
It's so shallow that I can just walk here. Well, I scout it. It's honestly so shallow. The only place I can see where you would have a line all the way to the bottom is the far right. Basically all the way. It's the only water that I see. I don't see a line at all. Let's just eddy out here for a second. <clears throat> so, it looks like you can go here, drop down, sharp left, sharp right. It's a little creaking here. Oh my god, it's so shallow. <laughs> Woo! Ho ho! That's tech for you, eh? So this looks very long, uh, there's a drop to it, do you scout it or do you just go? It's so shallow, that's the thing, like where's the line man? Make sure we got a... So this is the thing, man. I'm trying to find those hidden rocks. Looks like decent, decent little line right here. I'm making this up as I go along just to let you know. Scout something here, man. This is like pinball, man. And it's long. Like, look how long it is.
hell bro? Uh, I can hear something up there. Might be a little lag, but I'm gonna check the map. Get some water. So I'm dying. Time is 5:21, so I'm gonna have to figure out something soon. Uh, I want to get off the river by 6:37. You know, that way you're not scam scrambling to find a campsite. So uh, yeah, that's my update. Actually. It's a class two, but looks like it's got some flow to it. So let's let's bundle up. Oh, there's a little agua right there. Oh, I didn't know. I would have looked at it. Beauty. Face. We got a big drop here at the end. Make a left just before the falls. There should be a campsite. P means portage, I think. I believe we're getting close to Rapid 13. Yeah, well there is a campsite. But it's fucking beat to shit. <clears throat> so according to Jeff's notes, this is an island and the best route this is stick the right hand side. The left hand side looked like a lot more fun to be honest. Oh my god. I don't believe that like anybody can get down this. I think that's a typo Jeff. I think you're supposed to go river left. <clears throat> this is an island and like there's they like literally can't get through here. I could try I don't really see how this is going to work. River left looked like it was flowing pretty good. Okay, let's see what we can do here. <clears throat> oh. There's no way that this is the channel to take.
Oh, okay, nice. For sure, it was supposed to be channel left. I bet my money on it, bet money on it, man. So it actually looks like both channels are pretty gnarly. <clears throat> this one, like, actually you can't get through. I gotta get up over there. Or maybe just over there. So hard to see. So hard to see. The glare. I think that's pretty much Agawa Falls. That sounds nasty, man. Let's eddy out over there and check it out. So, we're not running this. I think this might be like three Agawa Falls. I gotta check the map. Hey, you know what guys, it's 6.40. There's a beach right there. I'm gonna camp on it, man. I have to do some scouting. I can't run this way right here. The rest doesn't look that bad. But I, I don't understand like where I gotta look, I gotta figure out where I am on the map. Something doesn't make sense. Yeah, okay. That's where we go. No way. So this is a full-blown campsite. Awesome. Oh, this is awesome. I'm going to camp here then. Not bad. So the only real downfall with the site is that um, there's no firewood really. Major problem. I'm hunting everywhere, but I don't see any, you know what I mean? All right. We'll have to make do. I have a sad little fire right now. Link is in the description. Oh, reeks. laughing at my strap chair. I can tell you something. It works very well. I sell them actually. Adjustable ones on my website called the Hot Talk Strap Chair. Link is in the description.
And you kind of look at it and you think, oh yeah, it doesn't look that bad. But like that drop in particular is something that's, like I don't really do that stuff. All this little stuff is no problem. And I gotta check out back there. But I suspect that I'm not gonna like that either. So, good portage. Alright, so we woke up bright and early and we had an immediate portage. This little gorge here uh, from the notes from Jeff McCall, it's actually uh, extremely accurate. <clears throat> River right basically has like this big boulder at the, like, right at the bottom of the drop. Sure, if you went right or left, you could miss it, but I certainly wouldn't like put my life on the line for this trip. And on the left hand side, there's a bunch of boulders you probably wouldn't get through, you get pinned and, and hooked up. Middle section is actually not so bad, um, but it's very short, so there's no point in doing it. And then the bottom looks like it narrows quite a bit. Uh, and in the notes, it said it's got a powerful hydraulic. So we're going to go in, paddle up and take a look at it for sure, but we're not running that. Now, Agua Falls is actually one of the next rapids after this. My understanding is that there's a class two um, and then there, the pullout is on the right hand side. It says there's another takeout right above the falls, but because it's my first time here and uh, I don't know the area well, I'm gonna get out on the first one. I'm not interested in getting out like 50 meters before a, a 75 foot waterfall or whatever it is. And in case you're wondering why I don't have my gear inside my pack raft today, it's because we're gonna be doing a bit of hiking and a bit of pack rafting today. So uh, the, the only time I ever put my gear inside the uh, cargo zipper and inside the pack raft is if I'm gonna be on the water for either the rest of the day or all day. To be honest, that looks like a campsite and a half right there. So there's the hydraulic. Yeah, I wouldn't be doing that. And I'm just ferrying across the portage so I didn't suit up. So this looks like it may be a portage. I might check it out and see what's up there. So I'm not seeing a trail up here. But you know, the more I think of it, maybe it's... Maybe it's just along these rocks here. Just skirts the edge the entire way. In which case, I'll just get back on my pack raft and paddle it until we gotta go. That's the next set of rapids. I think that's rapid 14, which means that this basically goes like over the falls. You have to eddy out or you go over the falls. So I'm gonna find a place to pull out here and do some recon to see if there's a portage trail. Looks like there might be something in there. That's promising. We'll start there. I'm doubtful that this is the trail to be honest guys. If it is, you know, I gotta work. I actually, the more I think of it, I think it would be up the ridge because this is probably in flood in the spring and most people want a portage when the water is high. So I, I think I'm gonna go up the ridge. What's this? This looks like a trail. Sort of. I must be either completely lost on the map or there's a problem with the map. Like, this is all just easy paddling all along here. No fucking way. That's the island then. So the portage is probably right here. There's another island right below the chute. But that's the island in the thing. Okay, so this is all runnable. Whatever. So 
So this is the last rapid before the falls. It's very mellow, a little bit rocky. Um, but I can see in higher water, you can see it, it just goes around and that's the drop right there. So you'd have to eddy out on the right hand side there. If you didn't know, it could become a problem. At these water levels, it doesn't matter. So we're just gonna walk this uh, rock garden here. Okay, so it's not bad. It's tough to get a good shot. I'll see it from the bottom, but you can feel the power. Woo. Mid to the end. I can't put the dry suit on, guys. I'm like on fire. So I'm just gonna wear the spray skirt and hope that keeps me dry enough for now. Um, Around that bend is Agua Falls, and we're going for a photo shoot. I'm going to spend one hour there. I didn't get a good look at it yet. I didn't get a good look at it. It's hard to see from there. So I'm going to paddle around. It looks wild. I don't know how close you can get, but I'm suiting up, ready to see you, like, in case I go flying in. I'm going to leave all my backpack and stuff like that here, just over there, and then I'm only going to take the GoPros um, and the boat, just so it's a little bit easier to maneuver, and then I'll pick it back up on my way out. Oh, so we got uh, we got some portaging to do if we want to take a photo here. Oh, holy! Whoa, little ferry across. All right, let me go check this out to see if it's even reasonable. Definitely runnable. Oh, you can feel the mist and the wind. Holy moly! So I was gonna try and line up for a wicked selfie in front of that thing. It's like a torrential rainstorm in here. It's colder, it's crazy windy, and it's raining. So we're just gonna put in and run this little rapid back out, head down the river. Woo! Lock the balls, guys. Get out of here. 
So we're gonna see how that turned out. We did a little photo shoot, um, but I, I don't check the photos when I do it. I just, I set up a little selfie timer and I went and paddled in front of the falls. So if it worked out, it worked out. Now we're just gonna run this. Right there too. Good run. Totally a good run. Twelve thirty. Both channels look very, very low. I'm gonna see. I might be walking this one. All right, let's see, but I highly doubt that this is going to go well. So, where is the water? So, here is the island with the two channels going on each side. And as per Jeff's notes, that's called log jam. And there's definitely a log jam there. I mean, nobody should go that way, ever. So, that's a little bit of a sweeper. Do you think I can fit underneath that? Or is that just stupid? I don't know why I'm even saying that. Okay. So, I'm not gonna go under that. But I'm just going to put it on the other side. Okay, it was too tough to get through that bushwhack there. I'm just going to hop over here. Make life easy for everybody! That's what I call the gauntlet of rocks. Got some good old fashioned creaking. Assuming water levels are decent here. Hey? Yeah. Good old fashioned creaking. This is my kind of style. Gotta watch for the strainers. There's a bald eagle right there. Oh, maybe he'll do a little, he's gonna come back do a little show for us? You don't see him too often. He'll be golden. Oh, it's so shallow. It's so shallow.
Oh, there's a campsite. Actually looks pretty nice. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. There's just enough water. It's just enough water. Also check out the cliff. I see a channel over there that's way deeper than the rest. Just gotta paddle upstream to get it. So here's the scoot around guys. And you get some cliff. Make a nice little jump. It's looking very shallow up here, guys. Where's the line? I just go right for the meat. What do you think? Well, there's not a big rock underneath there. Basically gonna go right to the right of that rock, left of that rock, and then ride it out. I think I came and looked actually. It's a couple of creepy little rocks there. That one there in particular. So here's the line. Okay, bud. Ooh, that's the hole. Woo! Whoa! So I guess that one is called uh, the Z turn, Rapid 16. So we have one more rapid. That's a class three. I guess so, it was a little bit wild. Like it's got some stuff in it. Let's just make sure there's nothing there. Okay, so I got 17 now. Rapid 17. Rapid 17 is a 100 meter long class two. In medium to high water is a very easy run down the river left. In the lower flows a channel on river right. And takes you into a house rock and cliff below it on river right. Some years there's been trees stuck on the house rock. So you have to be aware as you approach. Campsite here is on river left with a great view of the cliffs. From here to, okay, so it's a river right in low water. And we are basically getting close to the end here, guys. All right, ladies and germs. Our last significant rapid, according to Jeff's maps, which are unbelievably accurate. Like the guy is a genius when it comes to this place. Um, and it says river right, so... Let's see what happens. Just let the water take us. Do I 
go run no. No, definitely not. Oh, there's a rock right there. It's actually a big rock right there. Oh, I'm gonna be. For anybody who's interested this is the campsite of all campsites right here so it's right after basically that last class two there's the beautiful tent pad right there beach fire pit incredible view from so you're sitting on the beach having a little fire there's your tent look at the view you have Jeez, you know what, man? I gotta bring Perry here. Like, this is, she'll love this. Grab for strainers. One, buddy. There we go. How's it going, man? Everything's good. Catch anything? No. I mean, uh, I've seen a few guys, but nothing sighted. Where, where are you coming from? Um, well, I actually work here. Oh, at the park? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think, uh, I think you spoke, you're, you're doing the Little River, right? Oh, yeah, were you at the, oh shit, now I recognize you. Yeah, sorry, man. Oh really? But, uh, it is what it is. I'm just gonna, I mean, I'm not leaving anytime soon. Let me ask you a question. So, um, it's getting pretty mellow, the river. So I'm gonna get out. How do I hook up with the Toab Trail? Like at Burnt Rock Pool? This is Burnt Rock Pool? Yeah, like the trail is right behind you there. And then it's 45 minutes to the road. Wait, which road? Freighter? I'm gonna get out here then. This is Burnt Rock? Yeah, this is Burnt Rock. Yeah, you're basically done. <laughs> okay. Oh. So we're at a burnt rock. Looks like it's got a couple camps campsites.
The last bit really takes something out of you. Guys, we made it back to the car via the Toab Trail from Burt Rock Pool. We ran everything that we could on the river, thanks to Jeff McColl and his maps. Uh, actually, his descriptions are so accurate. Um, they're very helpful. I'm thinking that next time we do this, we wait until the river level is at least three. I, I checked before I left, it was 2.4, but I'll check again when I get back home and I'll put it, I'll pin it in the comments what the river levels were. Above Agua Falls, pretty good. Still a bit bony. Below Agua Falls, way too shallow. Way too shallow. So we need to boost them up. Thanks for watching. See you around. Send me a message if you want some information about this trip. I like helping people with trips. Bugs aren't bad. And that's it.